This video will demonstrate how to require a field to be populated before a save can occur in IBM's Maxima. For this, I will be using the RM App Developer Perspective in TRM's Rules Manager Studio. I am using this tool because it will vastly simplify this process in Maxima. To create a required rule, I will open the WoTrack App Editor by right-clicking the WoTrack application in the App Editor. App Explorer on the left and selecting the Edit option. The WoTrack editor will then open. I will then find the field I would like to configure, in this case, Failure Class, and right click. We'll then select the New Field Rule Required option. This creates a required event on this field and opens the editor for the event. Without a condition and by default, this field is now always required. I will add a condition. To make this event conditional. This condition is created using a simple script. The script editor page of my event will provide me with content assist. Content assist guides me as I create my condition. It will tell me what fields and other variables I can access. Furthermore, it will validate my script to ensure I did not make any typos. I will tell my server it has new configurations and then verify my configuration is working. Navigating through my work order tracking application, I can see by default the failure class field is not required. Adding a work type will then make the failure class field required. I am also using another feature of TRM's Rules Manager that highlights empty required fields so they stand out more on a page. See our other tutorials on how you can create a walkthrough of this configuration for training, or to verify it each time you update your system.